not too dark. I look like a wet dog. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> I just got back from Austin. I have been working nonstop since I got home and since, oh my gosh, I need to back up, hang on. Let me start off with where I left you guys off in the last vlog. I have been trying to find time to even make a vlog to update you guys on everything, but our life has been absolute chaos for the last month. So the last time that I vlogged, we showed you guys the house. Come on, watch this light just like go out. That's cool. That's cool. I'm used to it. I'm used to everything fucking not working in the last. Yep. I was ready for that. That's okay. I was fucking ready for it. I used natural light. Well, actually, I think the last vlog you guys saw was us in Austin, Texas. And we had the best weekend. The best time. We weren't stressed out. We left our problems at home. We went. We hung out. We met you guys. It was fucking great. I'm really cussing a lot, okay? It's Mercury retrograde. I have no other excuse. So this week, we were supposed to move on Friday. Well, we were supposed to close on this house on Friday and also close on our next house on Friday, you know? Seamless, we were supposed to do this in this seamless way and move out of here by Monday so the new people can move in and be in our new house. That was the plan. So as we are leaving Texas, um, which was, I believe, the second day of Mercury retrograde, and let me remind you the things you are not supposed to do during Mercury retrograde are travel, communicate, and make big purchases. So we're at the airport which is fine, we had to do this, we can't get out of it. We're also buying a house though, like, which was just bad timing. But you know, you can't control everything in life. I can't completely live by astrology, although I would like to. We're at the airport, and then our lender calls us and tells us, and meanwhile, earlier that day, we got instructions, closing instructions for a house on Friday, so we were like, oh, we're good to go. Looks like we're moving forward. So our lender called us and she's like, she's at the gym. First of all, we couldn't get a hold of her. She didn't tell us at all, it was 4th of July weekend, we, got, we just, no one told us anything. So we finally get a hold of her and she's like, oh, I never approved this. I never approved this timeline. You guys are not gonna be able to close in your house on Friday. So we're like, what? So we start freaking out. I start freaking out in the airport, but we are thinking at this point, and I'm sorry if you can hear a fan, I just realized there's a fan right next to the camera mic. Okay. We got off the phone with her, but you know, at this point we aren't completely panicking because we're thinking, okay, we will just cancel the sale of our house or delay the sale of our house and stay in our house longer because we actually had originally agreed to do an earlier close for the family that wants to move into our house. They have five kids, they're moving from out of state. We agreed to do an earlier close, assuming that our you know, mortgage lender was like good to go with that timeline, but apparently she had never even approved it. We were not communicated to about that. We're sitting there and we start texting our real estate agent on the flight because we tried to call him and he wasn't answering. And he tells me that you can't back out of your house. We can't delay it. Um, you guys are basically going to be homeless as of Friday with 16 pets. So if you guys know, we have 16 animals in the house right now. It's going to be 15, which I'm going to explain after this. So we're like, oh my God, what are we going to do? We work from home. We run our podcast from our home. I film my videos out of the house. We thought we were going to have to like get a rental. It was going to be this like complete disaster. Um, but we have so many pets. It was like, oh my God. Um, our agent was kind of like blaming us for it somehow. Like we should have known that this could have happened when we actually never went over any of the contracts with him. He never sat down and went through any of them with us. So we had, you know, we, we didn't, we're not real estate agents. We didn't know you can't back out if something goes wrong. We weren't even told that they thought something could go wrong or that, you know, the lender hadn't approved everything. So we got like really screwed, which, you know, communication during Mercury retrograde is gonna be terrible. We talked to our agent and the lender yesterday. My dad actually got on the phone with them. That was rough. We went over everything and they think that there's a possibility we might very low possibility though, that we might be able to close on Friday when we sell this house so that it'll be seamless. But chances are Josh and I are going to have to be moving in with my dad this weekend <laughs> with 16 animals. And the one thing we can't bring is cats because my dad's girlfriend doesn't want cats at her house. So, which is understandable. We're already bringing all these baby bunnies and like everything else. So the cats are gonna stay with Janelle and we're gonna go live with my dad for a few days and hopefully it's just a few days. In the meantime, we're gonna fill a storage unit, pack up everything into a truck and just kind of hang tight until we can close on our house. And so that's why I'm not uploading. That's why I've been barely uploading lately. Everything's been so stressful. This process has been insane. I have been feeling really sick. It's the reason I haven't been vlogging. I've been spending a lot of days in bed. So that's kind of what's going on with that. The next thing I have to tell you guys, 
is about Athena. So as many of you guys know, um, I recently became the owner of 11 rabbits. So I basically got two Holland Lops last year as my first rabbits and I absolutely love them. Their names are Athena and Apollo and I really fell in love with rabbits. And so I decided that I wanted to rescue one and we rescued a Flemish giant that we planned on, that <laughs> planned, wow that we planned on bonding with our other two rabbits as soon as they were fixed. Um, my other two rabbits were fixed, but she wasn't because they were the person who had her foster was waiting until she was six months to spare because that's what they recommend. So that was the plan. Turns out my plan didn't work out. As many of you guys know, I ended up with eight baby rabbits as she was pregnant before I even got her. Um, so two weeks into having her, I had eight more. So shit got really crazy really fast. Um, so here's the thing though is before I even got Aria Before I even adopted her I started having issues with Athena and the adoption process for uh, Aria was a long time So before I started having issues with Athena I decided to adopt Aria, but it was gonna be about two or three weeks before I actually got her So right after I agreed to adopt her I started seeing issues with Athena. She started being pretty aggressive towards Apollo, chasing him, nipping him. Like not too bad, but like he seemed scared. It didn't seem playful. It didn't just seem like, you know, normal dominant stuff. It was like more aggressive. And it was anytime I tried to give him treats, she would freak out on him, try to attack him. She didn't want him to eat anything. And so he was starting to stop eating treats at all. And so that really concerned me. But I figured that maybe she just needed more time because she had just been spayed. I waited until she was about six months too, because that's what they recommend. Um, so I thought maybe, you know, she was just having hormonal issues and that she would be fine after a while, that she would, you know, snap out of it. I read that sometimes it can take, you know, up to six weeks for it to, for their hormones to like clear out. So she has never even met Aria. They live separately from Aria and the babies in two different rooms in our house. But it started getting really bad with Apollo. Every week it got worse with her and Apollo to the point where I noticed that he had completely changed his behavior. He was hiding. He wouldn't eat in front of us at all. He was barely eating. Then about two weeks ago, I was just looking at them and I saw her attack him really bad. Like grab on him, bite on him, kick him. There was fur flying everywhere. And afterwards he was missing a piece of his ear. And so that, at that point I made the decision to remove him from her. Every time she sees him even through her cage, she bites the cage, she completely wants to attack him. And he is so non-aggressive that he just lets her do it and doesn't fight back. After thinking about it for a really long time and doing research, I have found that you know not all rabbits do okay with other rabbits and some just, for some reason, don't just wanna be you know lone bunnies. So selfishly, since she's so cute, she's such a cute little rabbit, I wanted to keep her and just keep her away from everyone else and just have like two bunny rooms. But then like, you know, I, I've had her alone in a room for like two weeks now. And of course I go in and see her, but like a lot of times she's in there alone. And I really don't like that. So we've made the really hard decision to put her up for adoption. And um, if you follow our zoo account, our Mile Higher Zoo account on Instagram, you probably already know about this. So I reached out to you guys to see if there was anyone local that would want to adopt her. And I found a great fit and she's coming over tonight to get her along with um, her cage although she is gonna be free roaming at her new house which is awesome there's no other rabbits there she's just gonna be like totally spoiled and you know the girl who's getting her is so excited and I feel really good about it so you know it's sad as it is I've <laughs> cried a lot had a total meltdown the other night but I know that this is what's right and what's best for her and that her living alone Smelling other rabbits all the time is a horrible situation for her. Apollo, if you want to know about him, he's doing fine. He pretty much moved in. He did move in with the babies. He's like one of their pack. He's been living with them for over two weeks now. And he's <laughs> seriously like one of them. He eats with them. He plays with them. Um, he does fine with uh, Aria. So right now I am getting ready because I'm about to film a podcast. Um, we're doing a really chill episode, just doing a Q&A. Janelle's here, she's gonna help us with it. And then tomorrow's just gonna be like packing up um, because tomorrow's Thursday and then the following day we're closing on this house and when we move out either to my dad's house or the new house on Saturday. So that is what is going on. Little Blazy Girl is podcasting with us today. And so is Janelle. Oh, 
But I she's know. our new, um, like, MC on the podcast. You are MC DJ Jellyfish on no, the track. Uh, I feel like that's so weird. Why am I a jellyfish? Because your your name's Janelle, you know? <laughs> Jelly. Or you can be DJ Jelly Bean. No! <laughs> this really sucks. Look how cute she is, you guys. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Look at her little baby. No. She's adorable. This is the best thing for her, though. Yeah. She's been like so lonely in here. She has. We just have no way to actually like physically give her the love and attention she deserves with the others too. Yeah, you know? and she'll just be and alone. And no room either. We literally can't have two separate rabbit spaces. No, and she hates all rabbits. Yeah. She's a little devil. <laughs> but she loves people. That's yeah. the great thing. So she just needs to be a place where she can just be loved on yeah. by people because she's super cute and cuddly. Yeah. She loves a snuggle. Yeah, she's a cute girl. Yeah, and I'll post the Instagram account if you guys want to see updates on her. Her mommy's gonna, her new mommy's gonna post updates. Good. It sucks though. I'm <laughs> really sad. This just sucks. Oh, sorry. All right, so I'm packing Athena up. She's got toys, um, some vitamin C oh, drops, um, some joint support, herbs, nail clippers, all the things that she'll need. Some extra hay. And they're gonna also take her cage just because she's used to it. What does it reek? No, I just inhaled bunny feces. I, yeah, okay. little guy, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's so, so cute. sweet. Yeah, You're so, so cute. Good. Very cute. So <laughs> cute. <laughs> I don't like redo our bedroom because like the way it was now was like. A isn't like really like because yeah. like there wasn't much room. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. It'll be perfect though. She doesn't yeah. need much room. Like it's that's why I picked you guys is it's like a small enough house that she can free room, yeah. but it won't be like yeah. overwhelming for her because yeah. she's been in a room. She doesn't free room this whole house. We'll send you yeah. pictures. We'll send you guys. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, I'm so relieved. It's <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. It was so nice meeting yeah, so you. Nice. Oh man, you guys, what a difficult night. But um, I'm really, really happy with the situation and Athena's new home. Um, God, it's weird. I expected her to be in here. She's not in here. I feel good about it. It sucks. It's sad. Of course, I want to keep all the animals in the world, but um, I'm happy for her because she's going to be better off with her new family. So we are actually now going to use this extra space to separate the males and the female bunnies. They are just about to hit that age of sexual maturity. We haven't seen any behavior yet. They're still probably a little ways from being able to actually procreate, but um, we're gonna be on the safe side and move them a little before 12 weeks. Apollo's gonna probably stay with the girls because um, he seems to like the girls better. He's very attached to Blaze. Arya's having a bit of broccoli. Broccoli gives rabbits gas, so we don't give them too much. Uh, I don't think so, baby, not you. But she does love it. I'm not gonna give her this whole thing. <laughs> what, Clyde? So we just came in here and all, like Clyde, Ghost, and Aria were in the studio. The boys are able to, actually all of them are able to jump out of those things by now. So we're gonna be soon um, <laughs> stop covering the tops with sheets. Since they've gotten older and they're like little adult bunnies now, it's just gotten so chaotic. It's like, have fun catching me. Yeah, Clyde just lets me take his ass up. Ghost like, uh -huh. He says, I'm a ghost. <laughs> we have been slowly introducing the babies to like little nibbles of greens. Like we'll hold it up and let them all take little bites. So this is their first time trying a bit of kale. Oh, look at them. They're gonna just devour this. <laughs> look at the savages. I'm gonna let the babies all have one final hop around together around the basement before I separate the genders tonight. But just look how big they are in comparison to Arya. Raisin, our little runt here, ended up being one of the biggest ones.
right, so here's the boys' new bachelor pad. It's got everything they need in it. Pretty much the same as their old one, just a little bit smaller, because now it'll only be five of them in here. He's like, ah, this ain't bad. Welcome home, boys. Everyone's looking happy in here. Okay, boys are tucked in. Girls plus Oppo are tucked in. Ari's having some din-din. The four of them are in here. A good situation, I think this is gonna be perfect for now. But again, we're literally like moving in I think like 48 hours, I don't even know. I'm just... All right guys, hello and welcome back. So we are still going insane. Nothing has changed, we still have no idea. It's literally Friday, we're just closing today. We were supposed to close today, we're not closing today. <laughs> we're closing on this house today, but we were supposed to close on the other house too. So at this point, it might be Tuesday if we're lucky. If not, it's gonna be like 10 days. <sighs> so we're trying to keep our composure today, we're very angry. We are going to the closing and we have to see the real estate agent. We got in a big fight and we're just so disappointed, so angry and bad vibes and it's just yucky. This whole situation has just been horrible. We got a lot done yesterday, packed up a bunch. Today I have to get the office packed up, but um, we did most of the kitchen yesterday. I did like my dresser and my office. I mean, we just have stuff everywhere. It's complete chaos, but yes, we're closing on this house right now. So we're gonna go sign all the papers. All right, going in. Wish us luck, hopefully we contain our anger. And hopefully I don't deck them in the one. <laughs> well, that went absolutely terrible. We literally just got in a screaming match with the real estate agent in his office. He was so rude to us, literally laughing at us, rolling his eyes at us. It, it's been the worst experience we've ever, I've never yelled at an adult male more in my life. I don't even think I've yelled at my own husband as much as I just yelled at this real estate agent. Like, he was not ready the for main, me. The main thing. I have an that, Italian father. The main thing though was that he showed no no sense of sympathy or remorse or even just trying to no, calm just no us down or comfort us or be like so sorry like any no. No, that's why i was like dude your customer service sucks like we were like you're like, gonna lose you're gonna lose the client over this and he i think he thought we meant we were gonna make a video about him or something because he was like i'm not gonna lose any clients over this and we were like we mean us We'll never work with you again. Clearly you don't care about us, but oh my God, it was, I've just never experienced such unprofessionalism. I mean, he literally convinced us to sell this house or to move out of this house 10 days early. He told us it was a good idea. He encouraged us to do it and then is taking no responsibility. And now we're being told we might have to be in my dad's house for like two weeks which is just insane. We're moving into his like, my dad has a tiny house in his backyard, which is really convenient. They rent it out on Airbnb. Her son used to live with them and that's Go why they have it. So luckily Go we'll be able to stay in that, but our bunnies have to stay in a storage room. My cats have to go live with Janelle. And then I've had to cancel sponsors. I've had to cancel all my sponsors for this month. Um, we may not even be able to podcast. I was supposed to do one, I was supposed to film today, but the fucking neighbor is getting his roof done today. And it is so loud, you guys, I can't even film. So now I don't know how long it's gonna be before I'm even able to film for my channel again, because we might have to be living in my dad's tiny house for two weeks. This has just been the most stressful experience. You guys have never moved during Mercury Retrograde, I'm telling you, biggest mistake I've ever made, and I thought about it, and I should have just listened to myself that this was not a good idea from the beginning.